What's up, YouTube? Merry Christmas, or almost Christmas, or after Christmas, if you're watching this later. Here's the deal. Um, I'm still struggling to get my Google My Business page up. They actually denied my request. And I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm fuming. I'm so angry about it, because I know I'm meeting all the guidelines, and for whatever reason, they are making it incredibly hard. I'm gonna continue to submit requests and try to figure this out. Um, it is super frustrating, and honestly, the first time this happened, I was in an absolute panic. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm never gonna get any business. My whole business is gonna fall apart. This is where I get 90% of my business. Um, one thing that sucks right now is I'm not getting reviews, which is a bummer, um, but it, it is what it is. Uh, you can go back and look at my last video to see what I'm talking about, you know, if you're kind of coming in on this um, late. But my Google My Business page was taken down for whatever reason, and to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if it was actually flagged or something by my competitor, because there's one guy in town whose page is no different than mine and another competitors in town, and both of ours got taken down within a day of each other, but his is still active, uh, which irks me a little bit and makes me wanna, you know, do the same thing back to him, you know, make his life a pain, but you know what? I'm gonna work through it. But the cool thing is, what I'm getting at is, it's not hurting my business, and that's what's crazy, is right now I am on my 10th dumpster this week, and this is the week of Christmas where I thought for sure I would be absolutely dead. Um, I've got a couple more pending, but here's the thing. Uh, Christmas Eve is tomorrow. I'm headed to Mexico, and I will be on the beach sipping on some drinks, uh, assuming what I booked wasn't a complete scam because we got a great rate and we did it the last second. But uh, I'm gonna be on in Mexico, and that's what's cool is all my dumpsters are probably gonna be out while I'm gone, and I've told all the customers, you know, hey, I can get you these dumpsters, but they're gonna sit here until I get back, so you're gonna get, you know, the dumpster's at a better price for a couple days extra, and uh, but I won't be able to pick them up and empty them again. So I'm hustling around, haven't packed yet, haven't done anything, um, and I gotta be on a plane in, I mean, honestly, less than 48 hours. But it is what it is. But back to what I was saying, Google My Business. It's, people are still getting a hold of me. I've probably had six to eight phone calls a day. I have no real presence on Google other than some uh, pay-per-click ads, which, do not perform very well, to be honest. So I'm kind of curious where it's all coming from, but then I kind of thought about my dumpsters and where they're placed right now. I've probably got three dumpsters placed around town on absolute major roads, which is awesome, because I've had two or three people call me about specific dumpsters saying, hey, I saw you at X, I, you know, I saw you on Main Street, I saw you on Broadway. These dumpsters are absolute billboards, I love it. Um, so all of you guys who are investing in billboards or uh, print ads, but you don't have any marketing on your dumpsters, you're killing me. And I'm not just saying like, you know, oh, you've got your business name on it and maybe even a phone number. The ones that get the most attention for me, because I have one that I did a long time ago, that's what I did, it was just my business name and my phone number. That didn't really get the attention right away, but once I got one, where the letters were way bigger and it said rent me or for rent and it says dumpster rental, has my logo real big and my phone number and my website very large on it. Uh, and you've probably seen them in previous videos. Those are the ones that do well and those are the ones that are sitting out right now um, on those major roads. So I wanna say that's where I'm getting a lot of my business from. Um, today I got an interesting call. It was actually from a DCFS agent this one's new for me, um, who ask for the invoice like that. They're like, hey, uh, I have to send an invoice into the state to have it approved. So essentially you have my business, but I need you to send, you, send me the invoice now. Um, and then if we need another one, you just continue to send me invoices, I get them approved and then we get a dumpster. He said there could be several dumpsters. So I was like, dang, well that's easy. Um, another quick update. So all of you guys who live on the brink of a rural area, you really need to be marketing outside of like kind of your city limits a lot because the big dumpster companies are absolutely just killing these people out in rural America to uh, get these dumpster rentals. Granted, a lot of those people also, I'm not gonna say they hoard their stuff, but they have the ability to sometimes burn it or I, I know they shouldn't do it, but some of them even bury their trash, which 
again, they shouldn't do. But the people who actually dispose of their trash properly are getting taken advantage of by these um, rural, you know, dumpster companies. And it's not taken advantage of, honestly. It's supply and demand. Um, they need it. They bring it out. So they charge a premium for it. Well, the thing is, I don't charge significantly more to go out a little bit farther. But I've got one right now. I am on, and I'm hauling it right here. One, two, three, four. This is the fifth 20-yard dumpster they've needed. They're cleaning out a house and it's more affordable to go through me than to go get a 40 yarder from another company not too far away because they know they would just fill it up in a day or two and then they would still charge them the one week rate. So I, if I'm only charging one or two day rates and emptying it and bringing it back, somehow it's still cheaper. They, they did all the math, I'm not gonna get into that, but you really should be targeting those people if you know you have the ability to service that industry. So just an update on what's going on for me. I am, like I said, absolutely ticked at Google My Business. Um, they're killing me. The only reason I'm not like freaking out entirely is, well, I'm going on vacation. So for the next couple days anyway, I really don't want to be doing business. But when I get back, if I don't have that thing reinstated or I don't have some clear answer as to why, um, I'm going to be pretty upset. Uh, but I'll figure it out. You know what? I've got a lot of um, compliance stuff I got to get taken care of anyway uh, once I get back. So I hope it is just a tad bit slow so I can get that figured out. Uh, but for all of you guys that, and I'll do address this in the next um, video, but I want you to drop a comment if you've considered starting this business or you did start this business with like a Dodge 3500, a Ford uh, 350 or Chevy 350, and you're towing... Uh, these trailers across state lines because if you did I would almost guarantee You are not compliant and I'll address this in one of my next videos because holy cow if you can stay under that 26,000 it is so worth it guys that 26,000 GVWR if you're buying a an F-350 and you're getting these new trailers with the 16,000 pound axles oh my gosh God help you and uh, to all of you guys that have the heavier duty uh, 350s or 3500s that might have that 14,000 GVWR and then you're hooking up to another trailer at 14,000 puts you 28,000 I'm telling you if you're doing that you're already at risk uh, if you don't have a CDL and B if you're crossing state lines and have a CDL you have other problems as well which you really need to take a look at so this is kind of my end of the year shenanigans I hope everybody's businesses are doing awesome like I said drop comments with questions maybe some things that we can talk about in this next year. Uh, hopefully we've got some bigger things happening, but I see a lot of guys in the dumpster industry right now, their business is absolutely dead. And last week it was actually kind of slow for me. Uh, it's always kind of due to the weather, but this week, the day or two before Christmas, nuts guys, absolutely nuts. So uh, best of luck to all of you. Hope everything's going well. And let me know what your hustle is gonna be in that 2022 new year. So have a good one all. Stay fresh and stay dirty, dumpster dirty.